Hello guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So SCS has released a new uh, DLC. It's the JCB uh, Construction DLC. As you see, we're hauling one of their pieces of equipment here. Um, as what I understand, there's over 300 pieces of equipment with this DLC. I may be wrong with that number. If I am, I'm sorry, but I think that's what I did see. Uh, there's, there's about 300 pieces of different equipment. Uh, you can haul on flatbeds. Um, low boys like this and uh, low beds um, it did just come out so let's uh, give a room I may turn it down too much I turned the audio down for the engine because I didn't want it to be too loud in you guys ears Yeah, let me turn it up just a little bit. I think it's a little bit too low. Let me turn it up just a little bit. We'll put it right there about on 50 something right there. I think it'd be okay right there. Yeah. And one of the main things about this game is you want to hear that engine. Especially in this 389. Alright, so we gotta get out of here. And that's gonna be the fun part. I need to lower the wheels. The axle. Right, let's go on the roof. Um, this brings a lot you know, to the game, guys. I mean, you're, we already have Volvo in the game. Uh, construction equipment now bringing it, which now, Let's this is not that big, a, it's a brand, it's not that big of a brand. Now, you know, if they could get like Caterpillar or John Deere or something in this game, they, they would pretty much Take the next be there. You know, that's two of the top two brands in construction equipment. And if they, if they could get those in this game. I mean, having the uh, Volvo and the uh, JCB is great. I'm glad to see it. 100% glad for it. But... If we can get those in this game, we would pretty much have the two top companies out there that make equipment. Um, so hopefully we'll, they'll uh, eventually do that. But uh, in turn that off. Well, let me turn it back on because it's still raining. Right turn ahead. And I do apologize for the lag. Um, Microsoft updated uh, Windows, and ever since that Windows update, my computer has been lagging a little bit. I don't know what they done, what they broke, but they Take broke the something. Next right. All right. On the highway, we'll get a thumbnail. Well, that's a bad one. I'm gonna go ahead and get a thumbnail. Come on. Line it. Alright, here we go. Got a thumbnail. Hope I wasn't doing well. Shut that off. So we 
we got 179 miles to go. Well, a short little run. I wanted to get in and um, kind of show off this new DLC. The JCB uh, equipment DLC. Which is awesome. Like I said, they already have Bob on the game. So, to see this come is, uh, is amazing. It's, it, uh, it gives us so much hope on what we could see in the future with this game. And then this also did come out for ETS too, so it will be over there too. Fifty thousand five hundred thirty nine pounds. We're still not using any modded trucks right now, guys. We're not. I have not put coast to coast or none of that back in. I'm waiting for stuff to kind of update. I know coast to coast has updated, but the uh, as far as I know, the Canada map has not updated yet. Trucks are starting to kind of update. I'm waiting for more trucks to update before we go back to using modded trucks on our other profile. Um, I don't like using trucks. It's not the same version of the game because you have a chance of, it, of the game crashing you. if you're using out of date mods. We're not using any traffic mod right now. I'm waiting on all that stuff to kind of update. And sometimes it takes, it could take even, you know, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. Sometimes it, it always depends on how, how busy the modder is that makes the mod. Uh, Jesse Cat, uh, who makes all the traffic mods, he's pretty, he's pretty accurate. Active. He, you know, he, um, His stuff is updated pretty quick, so I think his stuff is, it may already be updated, right? but I think it'll be updated quick. But as of right now, we're still kind of waiting. On stuff to update. I bet it knock it out pretty quick. Um, it's feeling right here around 75, so.
way to get this lane over here. Uh, guys, the kidnapping stuff will be coming. I gotta get. I'm trying to get somebody to help me out with that. The last one we done wasn't long enough, and uh, we got interrupted. So I'm trying to get more people to help me with that. I thought we had somebody, but apparently we don't. Uh, I, I don't want to use the same person all the time because I know they want to get on there and make money, and I enjoy Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, um, and I respect that. You know, and I, I don't want to ask the same people to do it all the time. I'm trying to get more involved in it. And there's a few of them on it that does it, but they're not active very much. So, you know, we kind of we had to kind of catch uh, those when they're on and see if they want to do it. You know, then we're also looking for more. So, more will be coming of that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I do mine different because I'm not going to just go up and kidnap someone because uh, one option is they're going to get loose and shoot at you other is they're just going to die because you have an option you can give up they're just going to do that and so we don't want that so we, we want to make sure they're okay doing uh, being in that situation they're in and, uh, and as far as me as long as I'm, my character's not hurt I don't care Uh, but this one that we're going to do is, I think we're going to do double me this time, instead of them getting it done to them. I think that's going to work better. Uh, you know, like I've already said, I mean, I'm all for it. You know, as long as my character don't get hurt. And I do apologize for the lag, like I said. We got our thumbnail. This load. Well, we got there pretty quick. We got 31 miles to go. Keep left. Like I said, guys, I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I, um, Microsoft updated Windows, and it's just this update that they done. You know, my computer's been doing it. I don't know what they done. I don't know what they broke, but... But they, they broke something.
take the next left. Alright, we're just about here. Quick take little the run. Next right. Yeah, I don't know what they do when they do these updates, but whatever they're doing, they're Take breaking, the they're breaking ride. everything. I, I know that. Okay, we may have to uh, back this in. You have reached your destination. Yep. But the good thing about it, where we're at, it's going to be a little bit easier in some places to do this. Why is, I don't know I let the wheel down. We can do this. We had to jack. All right, we're gonna pull up a little bit. We're a little bit off on our angle. Still a, little, still a little bit off. Alright, we're at to um, come back in with I start turning it a little bit easier. What we need to do is kind of turn it and go this way with it.
there's no trailers there. I now start turning. Yeah, we need to pull up like this. I'm not happy with that. Paint up some more. Maybe the best we can get in there, I'm, I'm gonna try to straighten it up a little bit more, though. Okay, that's not too bad. I think we can deal with that. Alright, so we drove excellent. We drove 208 miles, took us 4 hours and 47 minutes to get here. We can see. 27.4 gallons of fuel. Alright guys, we're going to end it for the day. I want to get here, like I said, we want to check out the new DLC. The JCB uh, Equipment DLC has come out for American Truck Simulator. Also for ETS 2. So thank you for watching. Thank you everyone that has been subscribed to Child Means Life Child Growth. And we'll see you in the next video stream.